This is my Bushmaster XM15E2S. And we'll start on this side, Magpul, bad lever, anti-rotational trigger pins, battle armament, ambidextrous safety, Magpul CTR stock, Inside the buffer tube is a uh, Spikes Tactical Gen 2 buffer and a Dave Tub spring. Inside here, the only other mod is a Fail Zero hammer that goes with a complete Fail Zero bolt and bolt carrier group. And there's the other side of the battle armor. Safety. Mike Pole Magazine. Troy Industries. Backup Iron Sight. Vortex Strike Fire Red Dot that I'm going to replace with uh, Aimpoint Pro. Up front, we have a Magpul AFG2 sitting on top of a UTG quad rail that I'm going to replace with a Midwest Industries. It's a little bit lighter. For lighting, this is a Surefire M951 military spec with a IR filter and supporting the light is the Surefire SR07 with constant on and momentary on. The light's been changed from a uh, iridescent to a uh, 500 lumen LED light. These are the Magpul, I forget what you call them, rail covers. Uh, I also have the uh, Gunfighter Mod 3 Charging Handle BCM and I think that's it which is a lot gun comes in uh, 11 pounds 2 ounces which is pretty heavy so and that's with a uh, loaded magazine so I'm hoping at least with a different uh, four end I should save uh, about three maybe four ounces so uh, that's it that's my Bushmaster AR-15 complete I have about 2,000 rounds through it and it's just a terrific gun. Oh, I also have that Magpul Myad Grip and the Magpul Plastic Enhanced Trigger Guard. So, I think I'm pretty well done except for replacing a couple things, but I have it set up where it uh, works real well. The Vortex Strike Fire, it works pretty well. It really does, but... Uh, I have an opportunity to put an aim point on it, and since I've decided on a red dot, I'm going to stick with a red dot. So there you have it, my Bushmaster AR-15.